fighters. Another gifted fighter that's around now is uh, Vasily Lomachenko. What are your thoughts on Lomachenko? Oh, I'm real high on him. I trained with him the first couple of fights. That's a real special fighter. The father is as special as the son. He's done his homework. Things that Vasil does and come up with has been uh, blueprinted from the father. He's the one that's put the whole plan together and helped create him. And I just think that he's a, a sign to show that the fighters of today are doing their homework. That is special too. So it's just not years ago, but it's up today. And I feel like a guy like him, the sky's the limit. I mean, uh, what he's showing us right now, that's a great. The, the technical moves. He hasn't had the name yet on his record to solidify him as a number one pound for pound fighter, uh, but you're seeing potential greatness there with him. Did you see anything special with him in camp where you just said to yourself, wow, this guy is incredible? Like for me, it was the numbers board when he does the numbers board, and I was like, it's incredible because he just takes it to the next level. Is there anything that you saw in camp? Yeah, I saw his consistency, his commitment, his, his uh, discipline. Those are huge factors. Most just look at the talent, but you have to have those elements as well. And I saw uh, something so special with him that's a wow. This is the real, real deal here. Which fights were you with them? For? I was with them for the first one, the second one. I was there like only a couple days. I didn't train them the first one. And the second one, I was there maybe a week out. So I did the mitt work for him. But uh, hey, it was a, a thrill to do a, a pad work with him because he's so accurate and a perfectionist that, you know, a two time Olympic gold medalist. And, and, and what he's got to, to offer, just it's amazing. How's his power on holding the pads? <laughs> Did you feel his well, power? Yeah, his power is his speed, his accuracy. He knows where to land the shots, uh, the element of surprise that he's hitting you from angles, he's coming up through the center with uppercuts, um, he can pull your head down, he can turn you, he can spin you, so you never know what angle he's coming from. And that's the surprise of it, is that you know, he throws nice uppercuts as well, turns you. Um, yeah, it's like I say, the element of surprise. So he has a fight coming up soon with Lomachenko, um, not Lomachenko, with uh, Rigondeaux. How do you see that fight ending? And well, who do you have winning? I mean, Rigondeaux has been a great, great fighter. Um, but in fact, uh, Basil has advantages of age and size. So we'll see if that plays a role in the fight. Um, maybe Basil Lomachenko is a little more fresh, fresher. Um, but hey, it's a great match. Anybody could win. You know, I'm just going on usually a, uh, a big man will beat a small man, you know. And, but when you got two guys, two time Olympic gold medalists, anything can happen. Do you think it's possible a knockout to happen in that fight from either? I think so. I don't think Rigondeaux has the best chin. Uh, I like him, don't get me wrong. He's been on the floor a few times, but like other great fighters, he's picked himself up and gone on and won. Um, a knockout can happen, but I don't know if I would bet on it. You know, because they're both so elusive and, and the styles. Let's see what how it brings the best in both of them. It's a chess match. Definite chess match.